Okay, so on day 80, it's all about reflecting on what you already have, what you're grateful for, what I'm grateful for, for the relationships that I've created within the last 80 days. I've been filming with all sorts of different people, new and old, uh, to create some really good content that's up and coming. Today's video is much anticipated 12 minute follow along yoga workout, uh, yoga exercise sequence workout with Kyla Gagnon. Uh, so check her out. She's an amazing yogi, personal trainer based in Victoria. Kyla Fit, take it away. Beginning in a seated position, we will just slowly start to wake up our neck. Let's extend our left arm out, fingertips to the floor, and drop your right ear to your right shoulder. Staying here as long as it feels good, taking gentle movements to lengthen through the left side of your neck into the shoulders, taking in deep breaths, gently rolling the neck, and then when you feel ready, extending your right arm, fingertips to the floor, and left ear to left shoulder. Again, slow, gentle movements, whatever's feeling the most supportive here, and focusing on big, full breaths. You can do this a couple of times, as many times as it feels necessary for you today. And now once that feels complete, give the shoulders just a little roll, shake it out a little bit, take in some deep, full breaths. Go ahead, clasp your fingers together. Press the palms away from you, and as you inhale, reach palms to sky. And as you exhale, rounding through your back, palms press away from you. Inhale to lengthen, reach palms to sky. And again, exhale, round, press palms away from you. Staying here for as many rounds as it feels good. When you're ready, releasing your palms, take your left fingertips in front of you and your right behind you. Take a gentle twist, gazing over your right shoulders. When you're ready, gently changing sides. Right fingertips in front of you, left fingertips behind. Gaze over the left shoulder. Take your time, press yourself back into a gentle child's pose. Big toes together, knees wide forehead to the earth, arms extend forward, and send some breath into the upper back rib cage. Stay here for as many breaths as it feels great, and then walk your fingertips all the way to the left, finding a gentle stretch to the right side body, side child's pose. Staying here also as long as it feels great, and then whenever you're ready, walking the arms back through center and over towards the right hand side. In your child's pose, continue to press your hips back towards your heels. Press your palms down into the earth and gently press your chest towards your mat, sending big breath into the back. When you're ready, coming back through center child's pose and lifting on an inhale, find tabletop. Give your hands a 180 degree bend so fingertips are now facing your knees. Keep a micro bend to your elbows and extend your left leg behind you, pressing your toes into the mat, driving your heel away, stretching out through the back of the calf. When you're ready, changing legs. Remember to keep a gentle bend into your elbows. When you're ready, coming out of that stretch, clasping the hands one more time, inhaling to raise the arms to the sky, exhaling, release. Inhale to clasp your hands behind your back, opening the chest towards the sky, stretching through the front of shoulders. We'll repeat that. Inhaling, arms come up. Exhaling to release the arms. Inhaling to clasp the hands behind the back and lift up through chest, front of shoulders and throat. And when you're ready, palms come to the earth. Give your feet a little shake, 
wiggle the ankles and prepare for your first downward dog. Now in your downward dog, remember to spread out wide through all 10 fingertips. Have your hands about as wide as your mat. Bend your knees as much as you need to lengthen your back body. Take some time here to wiggle around, perhaps bending one knee and then the other. Any movements that feel good for you here. Trying to lengthen our back body, trying to lengthen out through your spine. So from your hands to your hips, long. Press down through your hands. Press up and back with your hips. Move and breathe. Take some wiggles, whatever feels good. And then take a shorter stride. So bring your feet just maybe six inches closer to your hands. Bend your knees as much as you need. Take your left hand, reach towards your right ankle. Getting a gentle twist into your downward dog. And when you're ready, we're going to do the same thing. Reach your right hand now back to the left ankle, supporting yourself with your left. And slowly walking yourself to the top of your mat. Gently bend the knees and then slowly come down into a little yogi squat. Getting your hips as deep as you can. Just take some wiggles side to side. Let those hips open. And then lower all the way down. Find a seat on your mat. Moving into a little boat pose. So leaning back just onto the cushy part of your bum, off of your sit bones, find balance and extend one and then both legs. Reach your arms towards your feet, lift through your chest, strengthening through your core. We're gonna inhale as we lower the heels towards your bum. Exhale, extend the legs. Every movement is with breath. And remember to smile. When you've completed a few rounds of boat, just lowering your whole body to the mat, keeping a bend to the knees, both feet on the floor, finding baby bridge. So driving down through your heels, inhale, lifting your hips about halfway, and then if it's there for you, please clasp your hands beneath your back. And then slowly walk one shoulder at a time underneath until your chest is lifted and there's rise in the front body. Pressing down equally through both feet, pressing down through the pinky side edge of your hands into your forearms, elbows. And then when you're ready, releasing your hands and slowly one vertebrae at a time, rolling down. Gently tuck the knees into chest. Give yourself a little love. And then place your left heel back on the earth and extend your right heel to the sky. Working on a hamstring stretch, clasp behind the thigh. And if there's room, you can walk yourself up and clasp your ankle or your foot. For a deeper stretch, straighten out through your left leg. And then allow the whole body to feel heavy into your mat. Pull your right hip down. And then when you're ready, opening the right leg out to the side. Try not to let your left glute lift off of your mat here, keeping the hips parallel. And when you're ready, bringing that leg back through center, changing hands. Now take your left hand to the outside of your right leg. Anywhere on your leg is fine. And guide that leg now across all the way to the left, getting a beautiful stretch down the outside of that hip and in through the low back. And bending that knee to bring it back up through center when you're ready. We're gonna move into figure four or supine pigeon. So please bend your left knee again, left foot on the floor. And take your right foot, place it on your left ankle, creating that figure four shape with your legs. Either stay there, go ahead and reach the back of your left thigh or perhaps on top of your left shin, pulling both legs in towards your chest. Keep energy pressing on your right leg away from your body and keep your ankle flexed. Now when you're ready, we're going to do all of that on the other side. So both heels to the floor and then lift the left foot, guiding the left heel towards the sky. Grabbing either behind the thigh, up the leg or towards the foot with your left hand. If you'd like to deepen the stretch, please straighten your right leg and drive the heel down into the earth. Keep the hips pressed down into the mat. And when it feels ready, you can gently open the left leg to the left, making sure that your right hip stays down. And then when that feels ready, bringing that leg back up through center, now taking your right arm to the outside of left leg and gently guiding that leg now across all the way to the right. Continue to drive out through your left heel and almost pull your left hip back to really lengthen out the outside and back of that leg. Now when you're ready, bending that knee, coming through center and finding your figure four on the other side. 
once you've chosen to pull the leg in, if you have chosen to pull the leg in. See if you can lengthen your spine and keep your tailbone down on the mat. And when you're ready, releasing. Bring your arms out to cactus position. Have your feet wide on the mat. And then just gently rock your knees side to side like windshield wipers. And when you land on the right side, stay there. And if you'd like to deepen this stretch, take your right foot and place it on the outside of your left thigh. Turn your gaze to the left and breathe. Stay as long as you'd like and when you're ready, gently bringing the knees through center. Realign and straighten out your spine. Wiggle the legs side to side a few times. And then land them on the left, gaze to the right. And again, to deepen the stretch, take your left foot, place it on the outside of your right thigh. And breathe. When you're ready, bringing the knees back through center, tucking one and then two legs up into the chest, give yourself a little bit of a hug. And then extend those heels up towards the sky, grabbing the back of the legs. Last little stretch for the hamstrings, give them a little bit of a tug. Be gentle, make sure everything feels good. Take lots of deep breath. And when you're ready, placing your feet back down Give yourself a little bit of a swing if needed, or bring yourself up to seated position. Find butterfly stretch or cobbler's pose, so sitting tall, soles of feet together. Gently using the own strength of your legs, just press the knees down towards the mat. And if it feels nice, go ahead and roll forward. You can stay tall as well. Whichever position you've chosen to stay in, find space to breathe. Full inhale and full exhale. And rolling up to seated, we're going to do a gentle spinal twist. So take your left leg up and over your right. You can have your right leg either bent or extended out. Left hand is just behind your tailbone. Take a tall spine. Inhale your right arm up and around the outside of your left knee. Take a gentle gaze over your left shoulder and stay for a few full breaths. When you're ready, releasing that twist and finding the same position on the other side. If having your elbow on the outside of your knee isn't an option, please just use that arm to hug the knee, hugging it in towards your chest. You should be feeling this stretch on the outside of your top leg's hip. When you feel ready, extending both legs out Shake everything and then let's crisscross the knees and roll forward. Just releasing any tension. And then when you're ready, rolling up, tall spine, holding opposite elbows and just giving a gentle twist side to side. Slowly one vertebrae at a time, we're gonna and roll down into now it. for your final Shavasana. Complete relaxation, nothing to do. Cool. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned to the next yoga event. High five. Cool.